I do have days when I'm really tired. And Linda Carey was diagnosed 11 years ago with an aggressive form of cancer. Fighting it has become second nature. I have an IV drip every three weeks and then I take an oral medication seven days on, seven days off. As a breast cancer survivor, Linda's learned to be her own advocate and push for the best care possible. When you're diagnosed, make sure that you're getting the right tests, the best tests that you can, and the best doctors are reading those tests. I think that's key. It's Dr. Blackwelder's job right there. to look for breast cancer. A mammogram is usually the first line of defense. No test is perfect. Mammograms aren't perfect for finding breast cancer, but they are very good. But in some cases, you might need a breast MRI. That includes high-risk women who have over a 20% lifetime risk based on family and medical history. MRI also helps after cancer has been diagnosed to see if there is more in either breast and to check lymph nodes. That's right where you need to be, right there. In less than an hour, the scan looks from your armpit all the way through to your chest wall, giving doctors the detail they need to make a diagnosis. Most of the people are actually pretty excited to have this because it's so detailed, the resolution is so high. If something might have been a mistake earlier that they weren't sure about the ultrasound or the mammogram, it's just very high detail here. Week before last I found a three millimeter cancer. That's pretty small. And uh, uh, knowing that you found something that's curable is uh, really good. If you have cancer, you have cancer. It's not an easy journey. Eleven years in, Linda shares what she calls her positive approach to cancer. Find a great doctor, be your own advocate. If you don't feel like you're strong enough to be your own advocate, find someone who can. Uh, don't be afraid to ask questions. And if you don't get the, if you don't understand the answers, don't be afraid to ask more. Um, give yourself a space to have cancer. It's scary. There's days that are gonna be bad and you probably need to cry and get those emotions out but limit your time to do that. And that's just how I li have always lived my life. So the more you can put in, the more laughter, the more humor, those things into your life, I think it's, the outcome is better. From asking questions about every step of your care to finding humor, the list all starts with one thing, early detection. Well, early detection is the key to saving lives.